Welcome back everyone to the Supernatural Corner Podcast, where every Sunday we talk about supernatural things. I'm your host, Serena, and we're here with my co-host, the RCL Man. What's up, everybody? And today we're going to be talking about... With the drumming again. Werewolves. Were- Ooh, werewolves. Now, when we originally thought of this show, or had the show, this was like one of the first episodes that we, like, postulated. That we, like, like, like thought would happen one day. Okay. Right. Big words. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about werewolves. So first of all, what are werewolves? What are werewolves to you? Werewolves are people who have been bitten by a werewolf, and they get turned into sort of like a wolf-man hybrid thing, but it only happens at the full moon. Okay. Well, that's a good outlook on it. All right. That's not it. So right, werewolves you're saying that I'm wrong. Are humans okay. male or female that could turn into a hybrid of half human half wolf when i say this i mean when it becomes wolf form it can stand on its two back legs they have more of an animal side to them than a wolf really would Since it's male. they kind of have like anger issues they kind of have anger <laughs> they have issues anger okay issues. um they have all they kinds therapy. of name for them in every different culture there is a different name for them uh, but they're usually brought on by a bite, mm-hmm. um, a curse, uh, anywhere from making deals with the devil, being bitten by another werewolf, anything like that. They also have a really good ability to heal fast as well. Okay. So once they get cut, they almost heal immediately. Okay. And that's what they're kind of known for, that special like ability. Regeneration, like mm-hmm. Wolverine or something. Yeah, but I think it's really cool. The thing is with werewolves is that we don't know if they're real or not. Okay. Okay. So ra- this is a rare case where you also don't believe in the thing. Okay. So I. Because normally I'm the only skeptic. Okay. I believe in werewolves to a certain extent. Mm. I've heard of skinwalkers. I kind of believe in them, uh, which is a type of werewolf, but kind of not. I believe in old-fashioned prehistoric werewolves if that's prehistoric <laughs> i don't know if i believe werewolves. they are here now because what i believe is that werewolves were actually slaves at one point and are extinct but i could be wrong that is a whole okay all right let's just that's that you went somewhere else on i that. did and I did. maybe one day we can hear that whole story yeah well it's more like vampires enslaving werewolves so but yeah whole different story are we listen are we watching the underworld movie is <laughs> no, that what's happening that's not just the underworld because that's literally what that movie is <laughs> well there's other there's other legends out like there where vampires them. have actually anyway 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 anyway, anyway. 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 So what we're going to do today is we're going to watch some clips of what people have claimed that they have seen werewolves. All right. So we'll go ahead and start off by the first clip that we're going to look at. And it's actually a kid playing um, in the water and his dad's recording him or her. Mm -hmm. And um, they see a werewolf in the background. Right there. That thing back there. So keep watching back there. Yeah, to the left side. You can't miss it. Okay. We'll just... See, what's the blurring? I think it's water. What is that thing? I... I don't know how to take that. That's a bit of a delay there. So... Um, Then again, I was looking, so... So, to me, this werewolf looks like a character from Skyrim. It do look like a character from <laughs> Skyrim. It do. It do. That's why I was looking at it and so, I was like, that looks almost like computer generated. So I don't know if this one is real no. or not. So may not be real. May not be Probably real. Not. <laughs> Probably not. But it's interesting to watch and fun to watch. So I definitely thought we had to include that in, in our clip today. I, it looked creepy. The whatever world. It, was. it did look creepy. Even if it was some guy in a costume. Like, I don't think bro, that was a costume. what are you doing like, in the background? Like, like just chilling my the reason you trying to scare the kid on purpose but it did look like a skyrim well so it looks like the proportions are off like even if it was a giant like man wolf beast yeah. thing, it's werewolf i just feel like the proportions and the angle that not even the angle that it walked out but the proportions looked weird so i don't know if that one is real confirmed or not. debunked confirmed debunked not, not real so we're just going to take a look at our next video, which I kind of find interesting. Okay. So this one could be like the realest to me. Okay. Okay. The realest so, of the real. 
Not the real estate. The Calm real estate. Calm it down. Calm it down. Actual proof. <laughs> I'm not of saying real that. Words. All right. That's <laughs> his words, not mine. So we're gonna. It's two women out for their morning jog, um, and the sun is rising up, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. We're looking for UFOs in this. Place. No, she's looking at birds. Looking at view of the sunrise. <laughs> so that that just dissuades you how much in the videos are gonna be like. <laughs> but I thought that one was pretty cool. Even, cool. Yeah. Yes. Real. Would I imagine mm. werewolf? Like that's what I imagine. Mm. <laughs> like because he could be transforming back in his self from the nighttime. The sun is coming up. You know why not scare a couple of joggers? I mm -hmm. would. Mm -hmm. Sure, but sure. <laughs> say what you sure. gotta say. Sure. I, again, it looks like like you said, like, like a scout. Yeah, it looks CGI. Okay, this one does it's, not look like scout. It does look like CGI. When you edit it, you will see it does not look like Skyrim. It looks like CGI. I have man. seen the Skyrim ones. Okay, Hayden. Hater over here. Again, no, confirmed debunked. <laughs> not confirmed or debunked. <laughs> you do not know if this is CGI. <laughs> okay, anyway, before I beat him up, um, we're going to look at our next one, which is kind of weird, um, and you're going to have to pay close attention to this one. Okay. So these kids are out at night. First of all, I don't know where the parents are or whether they're not keeping an eye on their children. None of my business. But... These kids are out very late at night, and they're collecting bugs that only come out at this time of night. Okay. And while they're collecting the bugs, you'll, you'll see the bugs that they'll collect and what they gather. There is a werewolf-like creature standing behind the tree, and you can see its claw and its eyes. This is all we got tonight. Look, you got a little frog. A frog. That's not a bug. Well, he was trying to catch a frog. Did you see it? Okay, that was so quick. I didn't even get a chance you. to even like like okay. So yeah, can you can you Okay, so it's right. gonna Oh okay, it'll do that. Okay, yeah. awesome. You see it? Alright, can you can you full Huh. Do you see it? I you some there's something there for sure. Okay, so first of all, I feel like this could be real. I don't know what I, is behind the tree, uh -huh. it could be werewolf or not. But I feel like these kids really are outside just looking for bugs. Mm -hmm. And he looks up with his flashlight and camera, you know, and boom, there's something behind the tree. It does have claws when mm -hmm. you get up closer to it and you can see glowing eyes. So there definitely could be a werewolf there, okay? Or it could just be a really creepy creature or a person that is stalking children at night, which is twice as billion times, trillion times creepier. So... What do you think about that one? That one looks more real. I mean, it doesn't necessarily, like you said, it may not be a werewolf or whatever, but it there's it definitely looks like there was something there, and it doesn't look like photo, not Photoshop, but like it didn't look fake. We're gonna go on ahead and move on to our next clip. Okay. So, this werewolf was caught on a C. Make sure I'm saying it right. CCTV camera in England. Okay. So. This is a pitch or a camera off the highway. Okay. And you're going to see something run across the road, and it looks like a werewolf. And they swear they did not tamper with this at all. Okay. It does not look CGI. Mm. This could be one of the real ones. Okay. Like, this all could right. be werewolf proof right here. Right. I'm interested. We're going to watch see. it, and you guys tell me what you think. Not that. That's a deal. Not that? Okay. It's going to come out from the sun. That looks like a deer. Or is that the wolf thing? Okay. You'll see it. Do you see okay, it? Okay, yeah. That definitely looks almost like a man on four legs. It looks like a man on four legs. Yeah. Straight up. Now, I don't know no man on four legs that can jump like that, but it also has this dog-like body. I yeah, don't know. I like a gray, it looks almost like, like a greyhound the, dog. The middle is very thin. Yeah, like greyhound. Dish. Like a greyhound dog. It kind of looks like that. But his head of a greyhound dog would be different looking. This to me pointy. definitely looks like a looks like a, a human face the road. Almost, yeah. So this is in England, 2007. Werewolf crossing the road. What do you think? Uh, 
I mean, it's possible. For, it does look a little CGI, but not nearly as much as the other one. Right. And, like, there is some... It looks almost like... Uh, I don't know. It just, the, like, the camera effects, how blurry it is and everything mm-hmm. is consistent. Yeah. Which maybe that was an issue with the other one. I do agree with that. Is that the, 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 the blurriness wasn't consistent. You know, or something like yeah. that. Like, the, and when you look yeah. at it and watch it, it just—it looks like it was. It looks like camera. an animal. Yeah. It it really does. But when you slow it down, like they have, it definitely is positioned to me like a werewolf yeah. would be. That's weird. You know what I mean? It doesn't look as hairy as a werewolf. I mean, he could be in transition. That kind of looks like pants. It does kind of look like pants. It does kind of look like pants. <laughs> you know? Okay. Just 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 putting that out there. That those last two, I think, were. So we're going to look at a couple pictures now. Now, this was a werewolf. Don't read it. I'm telling you about it. (laughs) This was a werewolf. Also caught on video footage uh, from the actual, and you can help me say this word. Uh, Mato Grosso de Sol in Brazil. Okay, so that's where they captured this photo. Something of the sun. Um, It was captured by a police camera and was released by a city official. Um, it has been um, scrutinized by several forensic photographers, experts, and they have determined that this is not a hoaxer. That this is an actual photo okay. of a werewolf in Brazil. Okay. Now, funny thing about this is that Brazil has a lot of sightings of werewolves. Okay. Um, when I've done research on them, they're mostly in Brazil. I don't know if they have... My philosophy, which is where I thought they, you know, went extinct. Maybe they just relocated. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But they, what do you think about this picture in Brazil? Uh, so, I mean, that's very interesting that a lot of them come from Brazil. Like, right. I wonder if there's some sort of legend, kind of like like La Llorona Well, or there is a legend in Brazil. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just more of their religion and what they believe. They believe in... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I remember reading this after the seventh child. Uh, after the seventh child in Brazil, the child then does transform into a werewolf. And child his, eight is a werewolf? Child seven. Child seven is a, werewolf. a werewolf. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder why they so, chose that. Okay. I don't know. There's a whole religion I mean, on it. You can look it up yourself. But they say this is a real werewolf. The, my to me, question this is, thing where's the video? Huge. Like for okay. the, for the, for the, so know. I try to look for the video. All mm. I could find was the picture. I don't know if that's all they would release of yeah, it. Yeah, could be it. Um, I don't know if they did this for you know some type of scandal to get scare tactic or something. No, like um, to get on the news and just oh, make okay. this place popular. Gotcha. Or what? But this this looks like a crazy werewolf. Like if I yeah. saw this in my town mm-hmm. of Brazil, I would not let my child go out at night. I wouldn't let my honey go out at night. I wouldn't be going out at night because this thing looks about thirteen feet tall. He looks freaky as heck, and I just mm-hmm. I, I don't know. What do you I think about it? Looks like a person on on those like like amputees, people who lose their legs and they have those those like spring things that they walk like on. That? That's what they look like, honestly. The the ampu- like the prosthetic. Oh, the prosthetic. Yeah, yeah like that's what it looks yeah. like. Well, but, when you look up other pictures of this, looks... it does show you more detail. But this was like the best picture I could find of it. Okay. But it just I don't know. It looks weird. weird. So we're gonna go move on to our next photo, and let me tell you a little bit about it before I raise it up. So Michigan is also known for what's called the Wolf Man. Okay. Um, aka werewolf. Um. So, Why well, you need to change the name? <laughs> question mark. But well, that's just what they call him, the Wolf Because this is America. This is America. <laughs> that's so, why. Um, so they're they are known for having the Wolf Man in their state. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's been a lot of sightings, and we're gonna go ahead and look at a picture of one that a kid caught. So it looks like a rat. <laughs> it was. <laughs> this was in 2004. And a family was visiting friends. Um, they owned a minivan, and what happened was they were going to leave, and the kid was sitting in the back seat of the minivan, um, heard a noise, took his camera out because he saw something coming towards the van. It leaped, and as soon as it leaped, he caught a picture of it. Did they live? Um, so yes, okay. they lived. <laughs> so, so this is like one of their most famous pictures of Wolfman um, in Michigan in two thousand four. Mm, don't. 
I can see the wolf. I can't see the man. So. Okay, well, it's leaping at me. I don't care what it is. This I mean, wolf, yeah, wolf, wolves can leap. Okay. You know what I mean? But he definitely just, looks like a wolf. Or even but coyotes, But he looks like dogs. a wolf bear hybrid I can me. say that more than a man. Yeah, he looks like a wolf like bear Like, he's not hybrid. standing. He's in mid-motion or mid, you know, lunge or whatever, so. I mean, but I, I do believe werewolves are real. I don't know if they're coming out of Michigan. I mean, they could be. Michigan would be a you weird know, place for werewolves to be. Well, it's cold there. If they yeah. Have. Anyway. Maybe. Anyway, so we're going to talk about when they they were started for a sighting. Okay, so like the very first you read like it sighting. One more time. So like the very first like like stories. This of them, isn't or like, the, like very, the origin. There's an origin before like okay. There's stories before this, but this is the second recorded story. Okay. Um, and and the reason why I did this because I like this one better. I okay. thought it was interesting. Well, spin the yarn, tell the tale. So. In 1591, okay. a long time ago. Read my um, mind. Do what? I was, said read my mind. I was oh, going to okay. say the same thing. Um, there was a werewolf that took around in the countryside of Germany in town and Bedburg. Is that what, is that, what that is? I'm Bedburg. sorry. I'm not allowed to read. Bedburg? No. Uh, yeah, Bedburg. That's what it looks like. Okay. So uh, a few people cornered a large wolf um, and what happened was it was killing their sheep. So they cornered this wolf mm -hmm. and they were like, you know, we just captured it. We're mm -hmm. not going to let it go. Well, it somehow morphed in front of them into being a human being. Um, his name was Peter Stub Stubby or Stubby. Um, either way, he formed into a human being um, and he start after he was being pried with sticks and everything, he turned from wolf form to a human. Um, and they were freaked out like mm -hmm. they were just like oh my gosh I, this is back then you know when there was no tv or mm -hmm. nothing 1591 mm -hmm. so what they did was they took him um they took him and put him on a torture wheel where he confessed to 16 murders including two pregnant women and 13 children um 13 good so, lord so this is where it gets crazy okay he was somehow Release from the torture will. Okay. okay. He ended up murdering more people in that town. Damn. And um, he said before they did end up murdering him uh, and all in all. But he said that he made a deal with Satan himself mm -hmm. um, and he gave him a girdle which transformed him into a werewolf to any time he desired. That's a weird item. Sorry. A girdle. <laughs> Here's this magical girdle. Like, what? Well, that's, that's an interesting story, That's what this is, right? For sure. Yeah, girdle. Yeah. yeah I mean, it is. Why would they... Uh, I don't know. Weird. But for him to sit there and say, you know, that he made a deal with the devil. Like, and then for what you're saying... I mean, 1591, that's a long time ago. Yeah, 1591. But from, you know, it. from that, like, you know, like it says, it says didn't run away and turned into a person in yeah. front of a bunch of people in front of a bunch of people now this Allegedly. was recorded this was recorded okay. like straight up recorded so to me these people literally witness, witnessed a human trans or a, a wolf transforming into a human now what if it was that a dude insane. in a wolf costume like what if he just knew how to make a wolf costume back there and he had a wolf costume how do you transform out of that what they see like well to them they don't know what a costume is so he could just take the yeah, costume off but they off. use animal parts and stuff for like covers and pillows that's true so you know they that, also use them in, in war and they would put wolf heads on them to the Indians would like I don't, yeah, that's that's definitely that's an interesting I don't know. story. I think though. that's an interesting story. Uh, story. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I'm getting tongue tied. I think that's very crazy. Um, but here comes another scientific reason why werewolves can be around. Okay. So I don't know if you guys heard about this. Can you help me pronounce that? Hypertrichosis. Uh, Hy Hypertrichosis. It's also called the werewolf syndrome. Why there is that is wrong? a condition char characterized by excessive hair growth on the body. Um, it could be on any person, male or female. It can uh, it is extremely rare. Um, and back then, someone with this condition and it was assumed half animal, half human. So I could see if people were actually 
born like this yeah. back in 1591. Yeah, I would okay. assume that the gene for that probably wouldn't make it this far. I mean, maybe rare if there's some sort of there's, you know, there's, there's people alive. There's that, people that, alive that. today that did, do have this condition. Yeah, imagine having but they do look like werewolves. Yeah, and that uh, means well. because they're if you look at some of the pictures, they have very excessive hair on their face. Um, and when I when I honestly think of this condition, if anybody has seen Teen Wolf, I don't know if you've seen, no, I'm not seen that. Teen Wolf, but I, I definitely think of um, the actor who's going around playing the basketball with his wolf-like hair. But this That's just reminds hair. me of, of somebody witnessing an actual werewolf and what they think in their story. But um, anyways, that's it for today's episode, you guys. If you do believe in werewolves, comment down below. Let me know. Like this video and subscribe. But we'll see you next Sunday. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. Bye.